it was just a lot of wow, look at all this cool stuff that people are making and stuff that's possible. On a busy stretch in Brooklyn's Williamsburg neighborhood sits a unique storefront, a comic book shop called Desert Island. Its founder, Gabe Fowler, tells Inside Edition Digital. It's a place that is intended to champion unknown artists and give them a place to sell their work. Artists can come directly into Desert Island and offer their work for sale with no sort of barrier. And that's probably the most beautiful thing about the shop. There really is no store like it in New York. I really, there is no store with that type of selection. Also a store that gives a platform to artists and young artists. You know, you have young cartoonists coming in there and have their work on in the store, their prints, their artwork on the wall. So it was like this very, almost you would say like uh, entry point for anyone uh, who's a cartoonist. Gabe is a great guy and Desert Island is the, the best comic book store I have ever seen. The depth of his knowledge is just beyond what most people bring to a uh, retail comic book store. Artist John Vasquez Mejias recalls the store's early days. Maybe 17 or 18 years ago I was at a comic book fair and this tall goofy lanky guy came up to me and he was looking at my books and he said you know I'm going to open a comic store in New York, and I looked at him and I said, we need one. How do we in New York City, and we don't have an indie comics place that isn't just about Wolverine, but about indie comics? How do we not have that? And he was like, yeah, right. And we talked for a while. And lo and behold, like a year later, I saw it and I went in there, and we both said to each other, I remember you, you know? <laughs> And like, how's it going? And you know, and, and there it was. It, it was born, born a place where I could leave my house and go see amazing things that I love more than anything else besides people, comic books, and see them in real life. As I was living in the neighborhood and I came into the store and I couldn't believe that right next door was the store with just an amazing collection of books and, and it had like, uh, things that were hard to find and, you know, rarities. And also, you know, it's a reflection of Gabe and his taste that there was some great stuff there. Desert Island is so great. It's so fun. It's so cute. They have stuff for every age and every sensibility and sense of humor. They should stay. But staying may not be an option, as Fowler recently learned. I've been here almost 17 years. I had a 10 year lease. The lease ran out, they never gave me another one. I've been on no lease for many years. No real animosity with the landlord, but like a little tension there. And uh, someone recently approached them and offered them almost double what I'm paying in rent. And because I have no lease, they're like, hey, we think we're gonna take this, which means you gotta get gone. So they gave me a chance to make a counter offer. I, admit, I made a counter offer, but even that was like kind of extending beyond my comfort zone. And it wasn't close to the new big offer. So they gave me a vacate order. So they said, I got to get out of here. So that sucks for me and it sucks for the community. And it's just sort of obvious New York crap. Like this is what we're subject to here. I was in the car with Gabe. He was driving me home when he told me this. And I was just like, they can't do that. You know, you're a, you're a Mecca. You know what I mean? Like, they, how, like how is that possible? Well, we do things for love or money. And my thing is all love. I'm not doing it for the money. And no one who would run a business like this is a money hungry person because it doesn't make economic sense. A lot of businesses come and, have gone, come and gone very quickly because the prices of real estate are going through the roof over here. Steven Svenbersky runs Quimby's bookstore NYC right next door to Desert Island. The possible departure of his neighbor comes as no surprise to him. And everybody's being priced out. And, um, and unfortunately, when the new people move into this neighborhood, there won't be anything cool left. Illustrator and cartoonist Corin Shadmi also laments that trend. The name of it, it was kind of an oasis. Williamsburg has become more and more moneyed and transitioned more and more into this different kind of crowd, but the store was able to survive all these changes. And then now this, you know, most recent crush that seems to be the thing that is like the death blow for everything in, in, in the city is the, the landlord. It's New York real estate. I mean, what are you going to do? 
I knew this day would come, so I'm not mad about it. I also think the rent is simply too high in a general way. Like, I don't really think it's a good thing for the neighborhood if, land, if, if tenants are paying this much rent. Fowler says the store's imperilment has reminded some people why places like Desert Island can be so important. Community is kind of in an uproar. And there weirdly is a positive aspect of that because the community being in an uproar really shows that community to itself. Everyone is like, that's right, we exist and we care about this. It's a place where a subculture can thrive and is born. I inked all day and the day before. When I get up in the morning, gonna ink some more. When I make it, when I make it. Indie comics, comics, it is a, a beautiful, beautiful subculture. And when you don't like, nothing wrong with football, nothing wrong with drinking, but perhaps if you're a little tired of popular culture, mainstream culture, you develop a subculture. And what a, what a great subculture it is. And it survives and thrives because of places like Desert Island. It's like a good reminder of just like, you're living in a scene of lots of artists doing things. And I guess like the store going away would be symbolic of like, that being less possible, which is what makes it heartbreaking. Amazon can't possibly give you everything on so many levels. Man, I'm preaching today because I'm upset that Desert, that they thought that Desert Island would be gone. I would really love for things like that to stick around and not go away. For now, the store's fate is in limbo. Fowler started a GoFundMe to try to help pay the difference in rent. While he welcomes donations, he has an even bigger call to action. You could help by contributing to the culture, which actually is what the most important thing to me, like make art about it, make a comic, publish your own work, let your voice be heard in a more permanent way through the making of art and specifically publishing self-published comics. Those are the people that mean the most to me, and that lasts beyond your lifetime. Once you publish a thing physically, it's bigger than you, and it can participate in this world, a world that you may never touch. You could send your books to the store, and strangers will look at it and appreciate what you have to say. It's a form of communication that lasts longer than the internet, and uh, has a, it's meaningful for you to be able to do that. So that's the best. Do that. This is Inside Edition Digital.